Hi guys. Um, last time I talked about the camera feedback, review feedback. So they kept, they basically gave me four issues about the app I submitted. Um, so the first one is the app listing description. They want me to show that because I think they didn't have a validation in the input field for this description, but in the design from the design review, they asked me to shorter it to like less than two hundred characters. And yeah, and another thing is this listing feature image of the app. I because someone some picture I scale it, which is doesn't look very nice, so they asked me to change it as well. In the app details, I changed app description shorter, as you can see. And for um, the feature image, I upload two new image and delete the old image. So now it will be look like this. As you can see here. So another two issue, one is for the text field. Another one is for the spacing. I didn't notice they have a spacing design guideline before. I checked the Canva documentation for the development and the release and the submission, but I didn't really pay too much attention about the spacing and design. And later I realized that they suggest to use some standard spacing. Um, in, and for the best practice, they suggest to use smaller spacing in similar similar uh, components which is basically here the spacing here used to be 16 now i change it to uh, 8 and for this content you are for this label used to be content now i change it to under uil for this placeholder used to be empty but now it be became like this to to give a <coughs> to to have the user understand what this text text field is for better. Um, so this is basically what the change I made on the app and on the UI. I have submitted to the review again, and hopefully I can get the feedback later, and I hopefully can pass this time. And now after that, I can use my simple QR code app on ca uh, at Canva. So let's go back to the source code level. So I made two comment here one is changing the um, content from the label label from the content to an uh, until you are and add the placeholder value in the text input as well also change the spacing to override the padding top for the button so the button will have no um, no no spacing on top and because this box have a bottom spacing as well so in the end, the whole spacing between these two components will be 8 pixels instead of 16 pixels to be smaller. So this is basically what I did for this um, based on the review feedback. And this is why I want to talk for this video as well. As well. Um, thank you for watching.